Joey, thank you very much. Nearly a year after a body was found near Notai, west of Eugene, Lane County deputies have arrested three people, including a father and son, who investigators say are responsible for the victim's murder. Yeah, two hunters found the body of Sean Lee Wilkins from Swiss Home in the woods off Highway 126, November 20th of last year. Well, tonight, 23-year-old Timothy Schaefer, Timothy Bryce Schaefer, is facing one count of second-degree murder. His father, Timothy Leon Schaefer, and is facing charges of abuse of a corpse and hindering prosecution. Anna Maria Teresa Glick is facing one charge of hindering prosecution as well. In our crime alert tonight, Noah Chavez spoke with nearby residents who want to see the property cleaned out following the arrests. You don't see a rat in a clean place. They go to a filthy place. Neighbors in the community of Notai say this latest arrest at the property on Poodle Creek Drive is the last straw. It's right on that corner. Everybody knows exactly what we're talking about. As soon as you say encampment, we all know. Law enforcement yesterday blocked off the streets leading in and out as they arrested a father and son and a woman in connection with the year-old murder investigation. The three of them, uh, there was probable cause that was gained by the detectives to charge those three with the crimes that we listed out just tied to the Wacker Point uh, body of uh, Sean Wilkins. I was not surprised just due to the history that I've heard about since I've moved here from having gasoline stolen out of my vehicle within the first week that we lived here. With the latest charges, residents want to know if the county could take the land back or remove the individuals who live there. All of those people need help, including the owner, and I hope they get the help they need. And I hope they get that place straightened out. I hope it gets cleaned up. I would clearly like to see the property taken over and everything hauled out of there and cleaned up because it is, it's a mess. With the three individuals in Lane County Jail, Lane County Sheriff's Office can't give a definitive answer on what will happen to the property. Can't say one way or the other what's going to happen with the property. Um, I know that uh, Lane County Code Enforcement, I believe, is looking into that property. It's akin to being downtown Portland a couple of years ago. Let's put it that way. So, and it's not, it's not a pretty situation. Reporting in no time, Noah Chavez, KZI, Nine News.